everyone, welcome back to my channel, Moments with Kate, where I talk about skincare, hair care, and wellness. So if that sounds like your sort of thing, make sure you subscribe down below. In today's video, I wanted to come on here real quick and talk about a skincare line that's really transformed my skin. No big deal, I know. Just kidding. I am really excited to talk about this, and what it is, is it's the Dr. Jart Sika Pear line. Now, for those of you that don't know, Dr. Jart is a Korean skincare line. They've been around for a while now, but they really picked things up. I know they rebranded it a little bit, they got like flashy new packaging, and they've come out with amazing lines like this, which is really revolutionary and it's really changed the game of skincare. These are actually my first products that I'm trying out from Dr. Jart, so I can't give a full brand review yet. That will come, but I am excited to try out a few of their other products. But for now, I will be focusing on the Sika Pear. I went ahead and bought sort of like a little starter kit of the line because like with many product lines, I want to try as many things as possible without blowing my budget. So I like those like intro starter kits where you just get to sample a lot of things and then you truly know what key products you want to buy full sizes of. In the little kit, you get two of the serums, which I found pretty cool, just a, a double dosage of those. And then you also get a pretty generous size of the regular tiger grass cream. And then lastly, you get the color correcting cream, which has been my favorite, and I will talk about that more. But before we dive into the products themselves, I wanted to first talk about what Sika Pear is, tiger grass, centella, asiatica, there's a lot of buzzwords around it, and so I just wanted to quickly run through that. So this whole realm of like anti-irritation, anti-inflammatory, anti-redness has become super popular across the world and it really started in the Asian countries like Korea. Sika is just basically a nickname for Centella Asiatica and that is a type of plant also known as tiger grass so you can see how they all sort of link. And tiger grass is from many Asian countries and it's said to believe that tigers will actually roll in this grass to help heal wounds. So that's pretty impressive. I definitely would want to rub that all over my body so I can see how this really picked up. For my skin type personally, I've always suffered with a lot of irritation, a lot of dryness, and just being a redhead, I get flushed very easily. So because of all that, I'm constantly red, whether it's from sunburn, overheating, underheating, embarrassment, shock, happiness, sadness, like I'm always red no matter what. And so when I found this line, I was like, yes, I'm ready, let's do this. I've only been using these products for three weeks, so bear in mind that is never really necessarily a good enough time to really truly see the effects of a product, but I've already seen the effects, so I'm so excited to continue usage and see what else happens. With the serums, these are your typical serums. They have your standard consistency, might be more on the thicker side if you can think of the entire realm, but it's not too thick at all. And um, they have little to no scent, they all do, there's nothing harsh in there. And they're just like a very effortless, easy serum that feels nice on the skin and it instantly really brings down and calms down your skin. Similar to these serums, the cream is like a typical consistency for cream. Um, not too light, not too thick. The one thing I will say though is it doesn't spread as much as I would like it to. I like high spreadability creams, but this one feels like kind of tugs a bit, so that's the one gripe that I have. But other than that, it's very similar to the serums in the sense that it calms down the skin, it really cools the temperature, any irritation that you have from the sun, from acne, from just touching your face too much, it really gets to the point and cools everything down. I just put a little on the back of my hand so you can see the consistency. It isn't um, as green as the color correcting cream, it's just like a little yellow, but it does spread okay, just not, not as much as I would like. It only sort of got this section of my hand. But again, that's not a huge amount that I put on my hand, so it can't really be that picky. It has um, like a pretty medicinal smell, almost like mild pine trees or tea tree oil or something like that. So if anything in that realm really bothers you, then I wouldn't suggest this. Obviously it's not as potent as tea tree oil, but it's definitely in that like realm of things. The last product in the kit and the one I wanted to talk about the most is the color correcting one. This is like the big kahuna. Okay, it's, it's small, but it's a big kahuna in the sense that everyone really loves it. It's hugely popular. I cannot find the full size anywhere. I live in Canada, so it's a bit harder to get Korean skincare, but oh my goodness, it is so, so magical. 
I use this on my no makeup makeup days and I can, you know, navigate through life confidently with it, which is always nice. I suffer with like really bad redness on my chin right here and then also around my nose, generally my cheeks if I'm getting overheated like you can even see right now. My chest is really red for some reason, so always red, but this stuff cancels out redness like no tomorrow. I didn't, I was really skeptical because as I said, my chin gets incredibly red, so I was like, there's no way it's gonna figure this out, but it really does. It really does camouflage the redness. Of course, I would recommend all of these products if you're really trying to both cover and treat your redness. Of course, if you only had to pick one, it depends on what you're looking for. The serum and the cream are more so to treat, while the color correcting is just to cover. So if redness is an ongoing problem for you, definitely more of the serums and the creams. Or if sometimes you just get red, you need to cover it real quick, then the color correcting cream. But overall, I would recommend all three of these products. The next products I want to try out in the line is the Calming Mist. I thought that that was very interesting. It's just like a mist, kind of like a toner that you can put on before all of this stuff. So I thought that was pretty cool. And keep in mind that Dr. Jart isn't the only ones that sell Centella Asiatica products. So if this is out of your budget, which is totally understandable, I definitely was like stretching my wallet trying to buy some of these things. Um, so if it's too expensive for you, totally get that. There are so many other brands that carry products with this uh, Sika ingredient in it. So be sure to explore. I think Pareto has a sunscreen with it in it, which I'm so excited to try. So be sure to explore. Don't just go out and buy this one because I like it. I'm also trying a lot of different ones as well. Hopefully that was a helpful, quick little video for you. I definitely give this a big thumbs up, two thumbs, because it is just so effective, so easy, and just a great innovative product. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of these Sika Pear products from Dr. Jart, or if you've just tried Sika in general, and if there's any products that you'd recommend. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you found it insightful in some way, and I will see you guys again next week.